And we have just hit three minutes past the hour, so we will get started. Welcome, everybody, to the Qvert Community Meeting. It is the 3rd of January, 2024. Um, how very exciting. For those that had a break, I uh, hope it was very good. And for those that didn't, I hope you at least enjoyed a bit more quiet and were able to get some stuff done. Um, also, uh, thanks to everyone who, um, who didn't take a break for uh, maintaining a presence and answering questions and assistance and, um, and whatever else on the Slack and the mailing list. It's very much appreciated. So um, typically what we do uh, with these meetings is we open up the first part if we've got any new members this week or, or um, anyone that hasn't introduced themselves before, if they would like to, um, I'll mute and you're welcome to uh, say good day and a little bit about you and why you're here. So. Yeah. And I'll take that as a no. All righty. Um, okay, we'll check in with the version 1.2 release schedule. Where are we up to? 3rd of January. Uh, nothing. We should have an alpha tag, and I think that's correct. And uh, yeah, what's this? In two weeks' time, we'll get a little something, and then in three weeks' time, we'll get a beta tag. Um, I will just call attention at the 6th of February is our branch feature freeze, with the 27th of February being our GA. So it's always good to keep those things in mind, like this. Next thing we like to look at is the um, open um, CFPs. So uh, just two that I'm aware of. If you are aware of anything, uh, any CFP that might be interesting to keep it, whether it's a small conference or just a local get together, um, please let me know and I can promote it, add it to this events thing and we can try and get a Qubit presence there. Um, so the two things I've got here is the Open Source Summit North America 2024. So that's due in 11 days, um, and that's happening in Seattle in April, mid-April. And then uh, DevConf, which is a, a beautiful um, conference in Bruno, Czechia. Um, so CFPs close March 3rd, um, and that'll be in mid-June. Um, and I was also, we, I learned yesterday that we've got uh, another Qbert person presenting at FOSTEM, not in the virtualization and cloud for dev room, but in the testing and continuous delivery dev room. So um, I think we'll have about five or six people, roughly, at, um, at FOSDEM this year, which will be cool. All right. Moving along. Uh, does anyone have any questions or comments um, for us? The schedule or the upcoming Take that as a note. Um, so uh, one thing um, that I'd like to bring up, um, I'm not going to dive right into it. Um, this session, I figured I'd give people a bit of a warning. Um, uh, I, I feel like we are underutilizing this meeting. This is a, a rare opportunity for typically on average about 15 to 25 community members that get together and are able to share ideas and opinions and get attention on things. Um, and I feel like there are other ways that we can use this time. Um, one of the things that I thought of was that we do have some older pending design proposals. And so if we have spare time next week, I would like to take 10, 15 minutes. I don't want to take the whole hour. Um, I'm very much aware of how um, precious everyone's time is. Um, but I would like to take a small section of time and just start as a group to go through some of those older design proposals and potentially get some attention on them. Uh, some of them are up to a year old and still kind of trundling along. And it'd be good to kind of get those things finalized um, so that, yeah, they're done. And also after that, we have old design proposals, which are now very much features. Um, and it'd be good to kind of go through and just kind of, I guess, move them to a different state just so that we don't have this um, uh, forever growing list of design proposals that aren't necessarily relevant. 
Um, so that's something for next week. And I'm very much open to ideas if, uh, if you have them, if there's things in this meeting that you would like to see that we're not doing. Um, uh, another thing, and I've, I've mentioned this before, it would be really cool if we could uh, spend a bit of time, um, maybe once every two weeks, maybe once a month, uh, sharing what we're working on, whether it's a feature that we're very pleased that we finally uh, finished and, and got done, um, or whether it's something that we're, you know, maybe halfway through or maybe just even beginning on that we're excited about. Um, I think it's quite rare that we actually know what other people are working on. We kind of get focused on the, the small little piece that oh, um, each of us is, is kind of paying attention to, and it's easy to lose track of the, the larger project, especially with the amount of repos that we have. Um, so yes, by all means, I'm, I'm open to ideas. I'm open to volunteers more than anything. Uh, someone to say, hey, look, that sounds like me. I want to talk about th this feature. Um, please, by all means, let me know, and I'll, I'll carve some time for you in this meeting. Um, uh, the other thing, other thing I wanted to mention was that, uh, yes, we have a design proposal merged. I like to celebrate these things. So this was the VM rollout strategy, which I think was open about six months ago. So that was merged. Um, hooray. Uh, congratulations on the team there. Um, you can read about it in the, the pull request there. So um, we will move along. If anyone does have anything that they wish to add to um, this meeting, by all means, add it. We'll return to it before we close out this meeting. So we've got some PRs that need attention. Okay. Bert Launcher was out of memory. Killed by Kubelet with dedicated CPU placement enabled. VM should not be killed. If this hey, Andrew. Seems like uh, PRs and uh, bug scrub section are swapped. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. Don't worry, don't. That's what happens when I randomly copy and paste stuff. Okay, in which case, I will look at these PRs. Well, we're just going to do the bug scrub first this time. <laughs> sorry if this. People like to hang around for the PRs and then dash out for the bugs. Um, you're out of luck this week. Um, so yes. This looks like a virtualization bug. Is there anyone in this meeting um, that might be able to help with this issue? Uh, yeah, I'll look into it and CC Vladik as well. I think he uh, he knows about this area of the code. Awesome. Thanks, Jed. Just a heads up, Jed. Uh, Vladik's out uh, due to the Christmas holiday still, so there might be a slight delay. Yep. Create a different VM clone object with the same target name. Uh, okay. Create a source VM with it be closed. Edit the first VM clone file. Edit the second. VM clone one has been created. VM clone status is restore in progress. System has the same name. We can't allow admin to create a new VM clone object. Hi, Andrew. I think I just uh, didn't solve it, but I raised an event when this uh, scenario happens. So it is more visible. Oh, excellent. Um, does that mean I can add you to this? Or are you I able to uh, 
link that event. I'll share uh, a link to the PR in this uh, awesome. issue. Thank you. There's something we were tracking at one point that's slightly related, and that is if you cloned and used the same name and the source and the target, you would get into the, basically the same situation here. That's at least something we can detect. If I understood what's going on here, two different clone operations happened at the same time that had the same target name. That's going to be really difficult to avoid. Yeah, we do not block it, but uh, at least we give a little alert. Not an, okay. alert, an event, sorry. Want to optimize setting host name when creating a VM. Uh, if we don't set host name when we create a VM, and the vert launcher will use VMI spec name as the VM's host name. We should generate the host name by vert controller rather than vert launcher. That seems like a large update. I think it's better to set Can host anybody name correct me if I'm wrong? Uh, can you not set the host name using the cloud in it? I believe a mechanism to accomplish this might already exist. While, while slightly, you know, clumsy, it, there is a way to make this happen for cases where it's important. I believe you. Uh, would you like me to CC you to this bug? Sure. Thank you. Nice, Steve. Thank you. Righty, so that was our bug scrub um, masquerading as PRs. All right, this was a bit of an FYI um, on the mailing list with the introduction of Qvert network binding plugin API and the Mac, ah, Mac VTAP network binding plugin. It's now possible to remove Mac, Mac VTAP network binding implementation from the Qvert core. So this has been proposed um, in uh, some proposal 2.9. And we've got some uh, PR and some uh, documentation updates. Um, yeah, so if you've got any strong feelings about that, then those are the places to weigh in there. Um, we won't go deep into them here. I just wanted to, um, to amplify that FYI. Now, this was more of a question on the mailing list that I didn't see an answer to. Um, and there are two monitors in the cluster, Prometheus Qubit Rules and Service Monitor CDI, which are automatically created after they are deleted. They cause some false alarms, so I want to clear them completely. How do I do it? Want to customize monitoring later? What better way to recommend it? Um, uh, yeah, is anyone able to? Uh, is this in anyone's wheelhouse? I think currently nice. there's no way to configure é, that, but I can follow up on the conversation. Thank you very much. Hey guys, check if you're muted. I think that's, uh, yeah, Joao, I think you're still, you got a hot mic. Oh, sorry, sir. You're at, 
Thank you. All right, and now our PR scrub. What do we got here? Uh, we got a fix, uh, reducing VM recovery times. Let's just see if anyone's jumped onto this. They have not. Um, node health check. Oh. Takes 100 seconds in best case. Okay. I'm not entirely sure where this falls. This is almost like a like an infra peer. Um, yeah, who would, which kind of soul would like to uh, put the hand up to have a look at this for review? I will try to pick up the ball here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, it is E. <laughs> ENP. Yeah. ENP. Thank you. Thanks, you go. Just a few more to go. This one had a comment, but oh, never mind. It's been approved. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you guys for looking into that. Uh, I wasn't sure whether to raise this one because it is, oh, it helps. Uh, it was raised by, I think, QVertBot. But uh, it also seems to need a review unless someone has jumped onto it. Yes, this, uh, okay. Let's go. This did have a needs okay to test before. Um, yeah, it had, so this isn't a cherry pick. This is an automatic update. I think it still needs to go through a review process, even though it's been raised by Cupid, but right? Is that a rhetorical question? Uh, not, not so much. No, it was more a more a question to, to the group. I think you're right. I don't. I mean, I don't think there's any automatic merging of such a thing for you know because we need sanity check it obviously. Yeah. In which case, um, I know Felix is still out. Is there anyone else here? I don't know. Is still out? Um, so I don't know when either of them will get around to looking at this. Is there anyone here that um, uh, feels like that they're able to have a look at and review this common instant types? Update bug. If you sneak preview, it looks like this. A spinning wheel. Oh, looks pretty neat. Who can I interest in this? Yeah, I can also take a look at it since I think it's Legend. already known. So yeah, it's an automated bump. I don't see any issue here. Thank you very much. Last but not least. This is from just before a lot of us disappeared. Um, make sure that no one's had a look at it. He has put a hold on it. Um, adding a nice to vote CTL console about the logs. Um, 
VM user types a password by mistake instead of a command name or if the password is visible on the screen as a clear text parameter or in the output of any command, it could be streamed. So now that CTL console will emit a notice. It just sounds like a good idea. And uh, I know Simone is away at the moment, or I think he is, um, but thanks for filling out the checklist. Simone. All right, a bit of stuff here. Who feels like they are in the mood to review this Vert CTL bug, uh, Pia? Can you volunteer Nishan? Sorry, Nishan. Sure can. I just happen to know he's already looking in exactly the same area right now. So, oh, okay. D uh, do you know the Sean's handle? <laughs> N, N U N U A. Yes, this is it. And that's uh, all righty. Excellent. No, 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 being volunteering someone else is a is a, a wonderfully valid. Uh, way to get this work done. Excellent. Perfect. All right, so that's the end of the, um, the quote-unquote PR scrub. And I'll just jump up here to make sure that, yep, okay, no one's added anything to the open floor agenda. Um, I will just leave a few seconds of silence in case someone um, would like to bring anything up, whether it's a question or comment, or to praise someone, um, to just say good day, or anything uh, before we finalize. Now's your chance. There is someone new in chat, uh, Mirza. So I don't know if you'd like to introduce yourself. Sounds like a no. Yep. And and uh, Mirza, if, if you're not prepared to do it now, um, oh, something in chat. Oh, nice. Welcome to the community. Uh, how can I contribute? Start going to learn Go. Uh, yes, and I think from memory, that contributing guide does link to um, uh, learning Git resources, learning Go resources. Um, and while you do that, um, there is another, oops, we go to kubit.io and go to our docs and go to our contributing. Um, there's a couple of uh, familiarizing yourself with our organization. I'll put this into chat. How's that? Um, there's also other ways to contribute. Uh, there's our Kubit community page and our uh, website and our user guide. Um, if while you're um, learning Go, you feel like you want to learn the, about the project, um, helping out with documentation or the website or some of the community stuff is also a way to learn um, uh, more about how things get done and, and, and get involved with the community without um, necessarily diving straight into the, to the code base. But uh, yeah, welcome. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll, Thank we'll you. see you again soon. You're very welcome. Um, yeah, it was there anything else anyone else wanted to add before we wrap up? All righty then. It's wonderful to see your names, hear your voices, uh, and for some of you see your faces again this year. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much for all that you do and for, for the um, for volunteering, volunteering other people, uh, for answering Slack, um, jumping in, asking questions, and um, wanting to get involved. 
Hope everyone has a lovely afternoon, a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you all next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.